Have you ever wondered what would happen if you started doing 200 push-ups every single day and 50 pull-ups every single day over four months? What would happen to your body? Have you ever tried it? That's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm Vince Dalmani. Thanks so much for joining us. We've got a fresh episode of Ask the Skinny Guy Savior. And this question came from Paul Nickel. Paul said, Vince, uh, first off, um, okay, I guess he's, I missed him when I was in the UK, wanted to meet up. Uh, my training question is, uh, you mentioned uh, doing 50 varied pull-ups every day as a part of your pre-show prep. Assuming you do these in installments of whatever you can manage, do you push each installment to failure or not? Or do you try to complete 50 in a set time? What's your protocol for the 50? Uh, would have been a much shorter way to ask you. Sorry, dude. Such an inspiring guy. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Paul. So yes, for those who don't know, two years ago, I competed uh, at the WBFF World Tri uh, World Triathlon Championships. <laughs> the World Fitness Model Championships. I did do that as well uh, when I was 16 though. And uh, prior to the show, I headed back. I was living in um, Toronto at the time and uh, I met up with my coach, Coach Ben Pikowski, and uh, we came up the, with a game plan and he gave me two things that were, totally blew my mind. I still remember to this day when he told me to do these and I was just shocked. He said, Vince, I want you to start doing 50 pull-ups and 200 push-ups every single day, six days a week. Sundays take off, don't ask questions, just do it. So the first thing I thought was probably what you're thinking, uh, in a caloric deficit, are you, are you, aren't you? I gonna lose muscle? Am I gonna really get small? Um, the opposite happened. I had the thickest chest and I had the thickest back up on stage and I contributed to those body weight pull-ups and push-ups I did every single morning, whether I was sore, whether I didn't want to do them, uh, whether I felt great, I did them. Every day, I figured out how to get to 50 pull-ups. I sometimes started with wide grip, uh, sometimes I used a, a varied grip, sometimes I used a neutral grip, an underhand grip, sometimes I did more of a sternum pull-up. The bottom line was I f focused on shortening my lats without my trunk moving. I wasn't doing those silly, uh, um, things <laughs> uh, some other people do that aren't don't actually fatigue the muscle. I was doing pull-ups with the intention of building my lats, and the same thing was true with the push-ups. When I was doing my push-ups, I wasn't just I wasn't doing these ones. I was going into full extension. I was thinking about shoving my elbows together when I was pressing. I wasn't pushing up. I was pushing down, and that's a new way to think about doing push-ups. Uh, when you do your push-ups. What do most people think about? Push up. Well, that's not what I think about when I do push ups. I actually think about pushing the floor away from me, and it's a completely different experience. Uh, when I also do my push ups, I can actually develop my rear delts by doing push ups, and this is all physics, this is all biomechanics. If you're interested in learning more about this, take a course called RTS, Resistance Training Specialist. And when I'm down on the floor doing my push ups, I don't just shove in to create inward intention on my pecs, but I also shove outwards to create uh, intention on my rear delts. If you want to try it, do it yourself right now. Go down to the floor, do push ups, but instead of just pushing up, I want you to try and spread the floor away from you, try and shove the floor away from you, and you'll instantly feel your rear delts fire up. Who would have thought? So, you know, this is another lesson in how exercise is created on the inside of the body. It's not, you know, that's why, you know, people invest in my programs and all that, because I explain what I'm thinking about when I do an exercise, and this is where a lot of people get lost. In, in trying to develop their body because they just look at somebody do an exercise and then just think about how to get from A to B. Um, I'm going off on a whole separate rant which we can revisit on another day but to answer your questions, I just basically, I didn't give myself a, a set time to do them, I just did them every single day, Paul. So, you know, some days uh, I knocked out 200 push-ups in like five or six sets, sometimes it took me 10 or 12 sets, uh, same thing with the pull-ups. Sometimes I could do it in, you know, anywhere from, maybe three or five batches. Sometimes it would take me, you know, almost 12 sets just to get to the 50. So it always depended on, you know, how I was feeling that day and how well I was recovered, etc. So the bottom line is that that is an extreme example of intentional overreaching. Is that something I do all the time? Absolutely not. That was something I did specifically for that show because I wanted to bring out those body parts and I really wanted to really harden up my triceps as well. So uh, 
for another show I compete in, I may do a whole different protocol, but on two different body parts. So that was something that I did for that specific show because that was my specific goal. And realize you can't, you know, you can't tar you can't specialize on multiple body parts at once. Your body has a limited amount of recovery resources. So uh, I hope that helps. I apologize for a few of the side rants there, but uh, Paul, that was a great question, and um, um, I go more in depth on this as well with all the um, private members who are part of my. Um, inner circle at Live Large TV. So if you're not a part of Live Large TV, make sure you come and join us. We have almost 5,000 um, paying members who come and get access to my more advanced information, stuff that I save, uh, I don't put up here on YouTube, but I save for my most dedicated people, my most serious people who are really looking to enhance their physique and their knowledge. So uh, if you wanna go check that out, it's always there for you, livelargetv.com and we'll wrap it up right there. Subscribe to the channel. If this was helpful, like it, share it, you know what to do. And again, let's get a, let's get a good conversation going below. I wanna know what's your number one, what has been the most extreme thing that you've done to your body that has produced results and that you were kind of shocked by? You were like, this isn't gonna work, I'm gonna overtrain, this is too much. What was one thing that you tried, maybe a set and rep protocol, maybe it was a specific workout that you were really skeptical about, but you gave it a shot. You said, I'm gonna give it a shot. And you did it and it produced results and you're happy you gave it a shot. I wanna know your feedback below. So why don't you brag right now, I'm gonna give you the floor and tell me what you did and tell us about the results it produced. Thank you so much for watching, we'll talk to you soon.